Ayan, so welcome sa ating panibagong financial literacy classes. And I know, kaya napunta ka rito sa channel na ito kasi naghahanap ka ng kasagutan kung ano ba yung Kaiser na yan. So, yan po ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon. At si Miss Sharon Coneta Pangilinan, ang aming brand ambassador for that um, Kaiser. No? So, Before anything else, I'm gonna introduce myself. I'm Gerald Ramoha Benelez. Isa po akong public school teacher and at the same time, isa po akong financial educator ng IMG. So please follow and like and share my FB page, My Money Teacher. Now, sino ba si Kaiser? So si Kaiser po ay accredited ng Department of Health or DOH and registered sa Securities and Exchange Commission last June 2004. So, with authorized capital stock of 160 million. So, sino po yung President and Medical Director ni Kaiser? Si Dr. Lea Uy or Yolo. No? She is a season HMO executive and prominent doctor and sa katunayan, nag-outstanding tumasyan siya noong 2019 given by the University of Santo Tomas. Marami pong product si Kaiser, no? Meron siyang Kaiser Healthcare Individual, Healthcare Family, Kaiser Healthcare for Mini Group, Big Group, Corporate Group, and Senior Care. Pero ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay about sa Kaiser Ultimate. So ito po yung tinatawag na Kaiser Long-Term Care. So, this is a long-term health care. Yan po ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon. Design na health care pag nag-retire tayo or nag-resign. No? Si Kaiser po ay 7 years to pay, 13 years maturity. Just remember, 7 taon ka magbabayad, 13 years of waiting period, then you can withdraw may mga options pagdating na maturity kung ano yung gagawin mo sa pera mo. Now, just remember, si Kaiser ay 3 and 1. May healthcare, may insurance, may investment. Kitin ko, may healthcare, may insurance, may investment. So, tatlo na siya sa isang plan. No? So, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay ito po, Plan K100. Marami pong plan si Kaiser, pero ito po yung contract or plan ang pag-uusapan natin. Just remember, pag in nyo po yung 7 plus 13, that will be 20 years. So, 20 year plan period si Kaiser. So, during the saving period, 7 years po yan, and extended period. No? Punta muna po tayo sa saving period. Ano yung mga matatanggap mo during the saving period or habang nag-iipon ka? So, ayan yung mga nakalista. Meron kang annual physical exam, may dental benefit, inpatient benefits, member choice, and annual benefit limit for 60K. So, dyan, in that case, taon-taon, bibigyan ka ng allotment for health benefit na 60K. Na kapag hindi mo magalaw, hindi mo magamit, during the paying period, ibabalik sa'yo ang 85% on the maturity na binayad mo. So, papaliwanag ko po yan mamaya. So, sa annual physical exam natin, ito po is to be administered by an accredited clinic or sa mismong Kaiser Medical Center po natin, no? So, ano yung coverage? Yung mga basic five lang po. Meron po tayong chest x-rays, routine fecalysis, urinalysis, CBC, physical exam, and for the ECG and pap smear, 35 years old. Pero upon, um, tawag dito, needed, pwede nyo naman po yan i-avail kapag merong ano ng doktor. No? Sa pap smear, syempre, para yan sa babae. Sa so, lalaki, wala po tayong ganyan. No? So, second, we have a dental benefits. We have unlimited dental checkups. Unlimited simple tooth extraction. 
once a year free dental, yan po yung linis ng nipin, di ba? Ito naman yung tooth extraction, bunot, uh, cementation of jacket, crowns, inlays or inlays, and minor adjustment of dentures. And basic health benefit mo natin sa mga accredited clinics, di ba? And doctors, we also have operating room and even the hospital intensive care covered po siya. Number four, members choice approved and board up to 1,000 per day. Ito po yung ano, no? Kasi ang pinag-usapan po natin dito ay Plan K100. So sa Plan K100, meron po siyang 1,000 per day. Let's say, uh, nag-room ka ng 1,500, ang isosolder lang ni Kaiser ay 1,000. Yung 500, kayo na po yun, no? And number five, yearly bene bene medical benefit limit for 60K. So ito po for the Plan K100. For seven years, meron tayong health benefit na 60K. No? 60K po siya. So, the above provisions from 1, 2, and 3 can be availed or after full payment of the first year of the total premium. So, just take note, no? Maa-avail nyo lang po yan kapag nakabayad na po kayo ng isang taon. Or, ang katumbas niyan ay 12 months. Pero ganito po, no? Kapag ang mode of payment ninyo ay annual, nagbayad, let's say, nagbayad po kayo ngayon, at gusto niyo pong magpa-physical exam next month, so covered na po kayo. Pwede niyo po yun gawin. Pero kung monthly mode of payment po kayo, kailangan po munang tapusin ang 12 months. So clear po tayo dyan, no? Sa OFW, may binibigay sa kanila na 6 months, pwede silang magpa-physical exam. Ayan. So, number 6, during the saving period din po tayo, meron po tayong term life insurance. So, ito nga lang, hindi lang 7 years, kundi 20 years. Can you imagine that? 7 years lang po kayo nagbayad, pero covered po kayo for 20 years. ba? Ang ganda. So, just in case something happen uh, sa atin, pag-uusapan po natin yan sa number 8. If something happens sa atin ay nawala tayo due to natural death, syempre, si family makaka-receive ng life insurance. So at the same time, full ang plan, tapos ibibigay sa first beneficiary, antayin niya mag-mature ng plan. So, yun yung kagandahan doon. So, sa number 6, kapag ikaw naman ay kumuha ng 60 years old, ang insurance na ay hanggang 75 years old. No? Hindi 20 years old. 75 years old lang siya. No? And take note, kung 60 years old ka ngayon, make sure na hindi ka more than 6 months kasi kung 60 years old and six months uh, 7 months ka, hindi ka na pwedeng kumuha ng Kaiser Long-Term Care. So, pang senior care ka na po. No? So, number seven, accidental death and dismemberment. Accidental death, ibig sabihin po niya yan, pag nawala tayo due to accident, due to accident, times two po yung marireceive ng insurance amount ng family. Ang dismemberment naman po, yung bawat daliri po natin, kamay, paa, may allotment na percentage. Katulad po ng loss of both hands, 100% po yan. Siyempre, kapag isa lang, 50%. Loss of both feet, yan, 100% po yan. Loss of one hand and eyesight, 100% din po yan. Loss of one foot and sight of one eye, 100% po siya. So, pag dalawang nawala, 100% din po. No? Ayan po. Yan po yung tinatawag na dismemberment. So, Term life insurance for 20 years until age of 75. So, paano po yung computation niya? Yung long-term care benefit, yan po yung plan na kinuha ninyo, di ba? Ang pinag-uusapan po natin dito ay plan K100, which is 100,000, plus long-term care bonus, which is 85% ng contract price. 
So, magkano yung insurance amount na marireceive ng family nyo? Which, ayan, 450,000. So, 450,000 ang marireceive ng family. Just in case mawala tayo si plan holder due to accident, times 2. So, ang marireceive ng family ay 900,000. No? 900,000 ang marireceive nila. At the same time, yung plan, fully paid na. No? Yan po yung number 8. Waiver of membership fees due to death. So, ang kagandahan po, ano, uh, na pwede natin ipamana. Pwede tayong maging may legacy na maiwan because of this plan, because of this investment vehicle. Just in case something happens sa atin, merong insurance amount na marireceive ang family. Just take note lang po, ano, um, dito sa number 8, fully paid ang plan kung nawala si plan holder due to natural death. Kasi lahat po ng mga insurance, um, insurance companies, meron siyang contestability na tinatawag. Ano po tong contestability? If Usually, two years po yan. Si Kaiser po, two years. Just in case something happen kay plan holder na wala siya, natural death, walang, di ba, natural death. Okay lang po yun. Pero under investigation pa rin yun. Baka kasi ang kinamatay ng tao ay due to pre-existing. No? Pag due to pre-existing, wala pong insurance amount na marireceive ang family. So, Number nine, wa waiver of your members, membership fees due to a total and permanent disability. Ito naman po ay wala nang kakayahang magtrabaho, totally disabled na siya, di ba? Fully paid na po. Siyempre, ang magde-declare nito, doktor, hindi po kayo. No? Ayan. So, again, during the paying period, yan po yung mga benefits natin. Meron tayong annual physical exam, dental benefits, inpatient benefits, member choice of room, annual benefit limit since 100, uh, K, plan K100 pinag-usapan natin, 60K po siya, term life insurance for 20 years, accidental death and dismemberment for 20 years, and waiver of installment due to death, waiver of installment due to disability. Yan po yung marireceive natin, may enjoy po natin habang nagbabayad po tayo. E paano man, ito, number 10. No? This is not a benefit. This is only a privilege. No? Meron po tayong uh, sinusunod na policy rito. Family Assistance Service. Extended lang po ito sa inyong immediate family. No? Immediate family, let's say single ka, immediate mo ay nanay at tatay. Kung couple ka naman, ang immediate mo, anak mo at yung asawa mo. So ito po yung mga condition niya. Policy should be an active status and plan should have completed at least one year payment. Pangalawa, nominated patient must be an immediate family, ito yung sinasabi ko po sa inyo, within the first degree. Ayan. First degree, ibig sabihin yung mga anak mo. Yun. Kung couple ka. So, policy holder agrees to avail only of the services of a Kaiser accredited doctors and affiliated network of hospitals. So, ito naman po kung wala po tayong pang doubt, kailangan may admit ang immediate family natin, tawag muna tayo sa Kaiser. No? Tatawag tayo sa Kaiser. Kaiser, yung immediate family ko po, uh, kailangan i-admit. Nandito po kami sa accredited hospital ninyo. So, si Kaiser, magbe-verify yun. I-check nga yun sa uh, system nila. So, assistance to be provided by Kaiser shall only be to the extent of the allowable benefits due to the plan holder under his policy. Kung ang kinuha ni, ni plan holder is plan K100, syempre may 60K health benefits yon. Yun yung pwedeng magamit ni immediate family. Pero ito yung number next condition. Prior to discharge of the nominated patient, payment should have been settled to Kaiser. So babayaran nyo pa rin si Kaiser. So ang good thing po rito is naka-discount ka kasi um, ang mag-aasikaso doon sa patient ay accredited doktor ni Kaiser. Diba? Magkaiba po kasi ang fee 
professional fee ng isang individual na walang HMO na meron. Magkaiba, mas less, mas nakakamura po tayo kapag may HMO po tayo. So, ganun pong nangyayari kay Kaiser. Kaiser approval to avail of such assistance must first be obtained by the member and the issuance of LOA will then be given. Please note that this assistance is an accommodation and not consider a benefit of plan. So, subject for approval pa rin po yan. Kaya, mas mahalaga po na hindi po natin uh, nilalapse ang plan po natin. Kasi, just in case something happening emergency, di ba, may magagamit po tayo. And take note, make sure na dadalhan po nating hospital ay accredited hospitals ni Kaiser. Now, so other benefit, ayan, meron po tayong 800 accredited hospitals, hospital intensive care unit, and operating room. So, Extended healthcare coverage period. Ano po itong extended? Ito po yung 8 year from 8 year to 20th year. Yan po yung extended. Kumbaga, waiting period nyo po. No? So ano pong yung mangyayari dyan sa uh, waiting period na yan? Hindi na po 60K ang health benefits natin. Si Kaiser po, bibigyan po tayo taon-taon ng 10,000. Diba? Diyan, ang liit naman yan. No? Don't worry, may dividend yan sa baba na pwede nyo pong gamitin for your allotment, for your health benefit. So, kapag hindi nyo po yan nagagamit, yung 10,000 na yan, dahil sino, man, sino naman ang gusto magkasakit, tama po ba? Idadagdag po yung 10,000 sa susunod na taon. So, yung 10,000 plus 10,000 on the previous years, magkano na po? Tama po. 20,000 plus the 10% of the previous years, which is 1,000. So, compounding interest po yan. Let's say, walang nangyaring um, claims, di ba? Hindi nyo nagamit 8 year to 20th year. Assuming na hindi nyo po nagamit, magkano yung amount na pwede nyo nag-accumulate? Equivalent po yan ay... 269,000. So, ito po yung tinutukoy ko, no? Na ninth, on the ninth year, 10,000 plus the 10,000 on the previous year, that will be 20,000. Plus the 10% of the previous year, which is 1,000, 21,000. Kapag hindi, mo, hindi nyo po yan nagamit, may 10,000 ulit sa on the 10th year. Yung 21,000, idadagdag yun sa 10th year, which is 31,000 na, plus the 10% on the previous year, that is 21,000, di ba? 10% of 21,000, 2,100. Kaya on the 10th year, meron na pong 33,100. So, assuming na walang nangyari, meron kang tumataging ting na 269,750 on the maturity. So, yan pa lang po ang pinag-uusapan natin. No? So, accumulated health benefit. Ito yung mga dividends. No? So, upon maturity, since plan K100 ang kinuha natin, meron po tayo 100,000. Diba? Guaranteed po yan, yung 100,000 na yan. Then, long-term care bonus, ito po ay during the saving period, hindi po kayo na hospital, hindi po kayo na inpatient, hindi nyo nagamit yung 7 years during the saving period, ibabalik po yung 85% na binayad ninyo. So, sa plan K100, that will be 350,000. No? So, kapag tinotal po natin yan, tumataginting na 1,166,169. So, on the maturity, yan po ang pwede nyo pong um, gamitin. No? Pwede nyo po yung withdrawin na or itira, kurot lang. So, just take note, during the paying period, hindi po covered ang pre-existing. Maging ang uh, dreaded disease, di ba? So, covered lang siya on the 8th year onwards. No? Take note po dyan. So, ano na ang gagawin mo sa pera mo? You have 
options. Option 1, withdraw the entire maturity value. Pag winidraw nyo po yan, wala na po kayang long-term care. Diba? Kaya nga po tayo kumuha nito para sa ating retirement health care fund. No? So number 2, withdraw only a portion of the maturity. Ibig sabihin po nito, kurot ka lang, huwag lakot. No? Pag may, syempre may matitira dyan, nag accumulate yan ng interest. And number three, retain the maturity value with Kaiser. Iwan mo lang. Pag iniwan mo yan, syempre meron kang makukuha. So let's say iniwan mo yan, 10% per annum, diba? yan naman yung binibigay ni Kaiser. Pag mataas ang market, 10%. Pag bagsak, 3%. Diba? Kagaya ngayon, bagsak ang market. So, pag nag-mature ng plan, let's say plan K100 ka, meron ka ng 116,000. So, let's say hindi mo kinuha. At the age of 60, kung 22 years old ka nag-start, kagaya ng example natin, meron kang 6.4 million. Pag hindi nyo pa rin kinuha at the age of 65, meron kang 10.4 million. On that part, money working for you. Diba? Madalas nagkakasakit ang tao kapag matanda na. Lapitin na ang sakit. Kasi mahina na ang immune system. So, that's a time na meron kang pera. So, kaya kung ikaw nanonood na ito, bata ka pa, meron kang healthcare ngayon sa company mo, that's good thing. Diba? Paano pag nawala yan? Dapat, habang meron kang short term, may long term care ka. Kung wala ka namang short term, diba? I advise, get the long-term care. No? Mahalaga pa rin na pagandaan natin yung retirement health care fund po natin. Now, so, so ito po yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, no? Long-term care benefit value, yung kanina po natin na pinag-usapan. So, yan po yung 10,000 10, per year. Ayan. Yearly health care hospital benefit, yung 10,000 yung 269,000 ang pinag-usapan natin. Long-term healthcare experience incentive. Ito po yung kapag hindi po nagkasakit, hindi po kayo na inpatient, ibabalik yung 85% ng binayad ninyo on the maturity. Ito po yun. no Lifetime network access. Just make sure available pa rin po yung funds. Kaya huwag nyo pong withdrawin lahat kapag nag-mature. Cost-free health benefit. Additional Yearly Healthcare Hospital. It is a benefit other than yan, at the end of the accumulation. So, 6% per annum. So, take note, pre-existing medical condition, those illnesses, injuries considered to be in excess prior to the effective date of the contract. Ibig sabihin nito, uh, pre-existing is not covered during the pain period. Yun lang po yun. Siyempre, professional pa rin po yan ang magde-declare. Diba? Advice. Such illness or conditions was in any way evident to the member before the effective date of the contract. No? Ayan. So, ito naman po, the following illnesses will be covered during the extended period. Tapos na po tayo nagbabayad, covered na po siya. Yung mga pre-existing natin. And dreaded disease, ibig sabihin po nito ay... Dreaded, <laughs> di ba? Uh, kumbaga, matinding sakit to. No? Covered siya on the uh, extended period pagkatapos nating magbayan. So just make sure you have a pill health. Your pill health benefit is integrated with Kaiser. Kung wala naman po tayong pill health, yung discount na dapat kay pill health is a shoulder pony plan Holder. Kaya mahalaga po no, na meron din tayong pill health. At least, makaka-discount din po tayo. So, take note, if payment is made after the grace period, the contract shall be considered lapse. So, ang grace period po natin ay 30 days or 1 month. Pag nag-lapse po ang plan, ibig sabihin po niyan, ay hindi nyo magagamit ang benefits ninyo. ba? Minsan mapaglaro pang tadhana kung kailan walang wala ka tsaka naman dumanating yung sakit. No? So don't worry. Hindi terminated ang plan mo. Laps lang. So, so anong gagawin nung pwede mong gawin? You have two things na pwede mong gawin. 
update or redate. Kapag sinabing update, yung mga buwan na hindi mo nabayaran plus yung surcharge na 1.5 per month, di ba? Plus the 300 pesos processing fee, yun yung amount niya. So kapag naman redate, member will only pay the premium for the month but the maturity period will be moved. Mamumove lang yung maturity. So let's say five months kang delay, hindi ka nakabayad, ano ka, uh, dahil wala kang capacity pang magbayad ng mga na mismong um, months, nag-redate ka. So yung one month mo plus the 300 processing fee. So ang disadvantage lang nito ng redate, syempre yung contestability sa life insurance back to zero siya. So two years again. And sa redate, kapag nag-increase ang price, damay ka. Sa update, hindi siya. No? So, take note bago ma-terminate ang plan natin within two years. Tanggal na po siya. Can be done within two years of the first unpaid due date. The member shall be considered a new applicant subject to pre-existing conditions and for purposes of contestability of insurance coverage. Ito po yung sa redate. Kaiser will cancel the contract without need of notice to the owner if he fails to be in state. No? Ayan. Healthcare value, you can surrender your policy. Yun nga lang, syempre, maliit lang po ang inyong makukuha. Kasi yung HMO, ginagamit po siya. No? So, transferability of the Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder. Is it transferable or it can be assigned? Um, dati po, meron ganun. Pero ngayon, hindi na. No? Matatransfer lang siya once namatay ang tao. ba? Pag namatay yung plan holder, si family makaka-receive ng insurance amount and sa first beneficiary matatransfer itong plan na to. So, hindi na rin po tayong pwedeng ibenta itong plan na to. So, upgrading a plan and mode of payment plan can be upgraded within 30 days after its effectivity date. So, just first fill out the form, payment of processing, 300 pesos, ba? Payment of additional installment corresponding to the updated plan. Yan. So, mode of payment can be upgraded anytime after completion. So, the difference between the two, kapag kumuha ka ng plan K100, gusto mo i-upgrade siya. Diba? Within, within 30 days lang po yun, no of effectivity. Other than that, hindi niya na po kayo mag, pwede mag-change ng plan. Pero yung mode of payment, pwede po. Let's say monthly ka, monthly ka ngayon, gusto mong mag-convert into semi-annual, pwede po yun. May 300 processing fee lang po na babayaran. Pero kapag ganin ka sa semi-annual, nag-downgrade ka to monthly, bawal po yun. No? Downgrading a plan of mode of payment is not allowed. So eligibility, 10 to 40 years old at least, K45. 41 to 50 years old, K60. 51 to 60 years old, K75. Ibig sabihin po nito, ano? Kapag age 51 ka na, hindi ka na pwedeng sa K45 and K60. Pero kung 25 years old ka ngayon at may able ka to pay K75, pwede po. No? Yan. So, total health benefits at the end of the extended period, a member enjoys this benefit, which is the sum of all benefits under the Kaiser Premium Health builder. So, this option will give you the following benefits. Ito na po yung options kapag nang matured na. Continued health benefits with term life insurance. Continued term life insurance up to age 80 equivalent to 50% of the total health benefit but not exceed to 2 million face amount. Coverage all, all pre-existing condition up to the total health benefit. Covered na po ang pre-existing on this part. Annual physical exam through Kaiser Medical Center designated accredited. So we also have unlimited consultation with all branches. So dental benefits, so our accredited dental services provider and also continue magi-increment 
yung ating fund since naka-invest siya sa mutual fund, sa savings part. Pero pag bagsak ang market, ibibigay ni Kaiser ay 3%. Kapag mataas, 10%. Option 2, on the maturity, di ba? Continue pa rin yung health benefit mo, di ba? Annual increment, di ba? Pero nag-withdraw ka. So, annual withdrawal of the yearly increment earned from total health benefit. So, continued ang life insurance up to age 80, at least 25% na lang. Coverage pa rin, covered pa rin yung pre-existing. May access ka pa rin sa hospital kasi syempre may fund ka. So, dental benefits, ayan, covered pa rin siya. Continue health benefits with yearly increment, ito yung kapag bagsak ang market. Option 3, total withdrawal. So, kapag total withdrawal, as long as may fund ka, magagamit mo si Kaiser. Huh? Ayan. Ayan. Option 3, full withdrawal total benefit. Full withdrawal total health benefits, the policy is considered fully availed. Kapag yan ang ginawa ninyo. So, however, should there no option chosen, kapag hindi po kayo nag reply dun sa message ni Kaiser, automatic ang um, i-apply po ni Kaiser yung option 1. No? For withdrawal due to non-medical reason, the term life insurance coverage will automatic automatically be discontinued. Nag-withdraw ka dahil gusto mo lang bumili ng kahit ano, diba? automatic yun, discontinued na ang term life insurance. But then, kung nag-withdraw ka due to medical, yun. Diba? Kaiser reserved the right to discontinue the health benefits and return all available unused health funds to the member at any time without notice. So, ito po, no? downloadable po itong sa ating Kaiser Online Policy Management. Ganun po tayo niyan. Ma-access po natin ang ating policy online. So, i-message po tayo yan ni Kaiser no? sa email po natin. At bibigyan po tayo ng username and password. No? Ganito po yan, no? Ang konsepto ni Kaiser. Ikaw, family, you keep on pushing your family to feel the luxury. But in case something happen to you, yung family mo babagsak sa poverty. But, kung may insurance at healthcare ka, ang family mo hindi babagsak sa poverty. Kasi meron kang insurance at investment, no? Healthcare. So, at si Kaiser nga po yan ay sumasagot sa tanong, what if you die too soon? Who will take care of your family? What if you live too long? Who will take care of you? Our solution, life insurance, then our solution doon sa binigyan ka ng mahabang buhay, investment and long-term care. So, take note, three major financial needs, investment, life insurance, health care. Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder is the answer. So, bakit Kaiser? Kasi may investment, may life insurance, health care fund. So, kung babalikan po natin yung Build and Solid Financial Foundation, we build this from the ground to up. No? From the ground to up. Wag puro investment. Dapat properly protected din tayo through healthcare and our family through life insurance. And we need to create emergency fund and manage our debt. Siyempre, mas mahalaga pa rin, increase your cash flow. So, si Kaiser, 3-in-1 investment. May healthcare, may life insurance investment. Ilang years lang po kayo magbabayad? 7 years. This is an example, no, ng plan. Lowest plan po ito. 88 pesos per day or 2,647 per month. So, kung nag-start siya at the age of 28, at the age of 70, meron na siyang retirement healthcare fund na 4.2 million. Siyempre, kung mambata ka pa nagsimula, higher plan ang kinuha nyo, mas mataas yung plan amount na makuha mo on the maturity and also on the retirement years. So, Ayan. So, end na po tayo. Again, kung if you have question, di ba, just message below. Just contact me, di ba, para mag-guide ka. Kahit sa ang bansa ka, di ba, meron tayong online form na pwede ka po kayong mag-fill up to avail this plan. And we have also 
online payment. So for more information, just contact me and, and comment to my Facebook account, My Money Teacher or Gerald Remojo Benelis. So again, I'm Gerald Remojo Benelis na laging nagpapaalalang mag-aral, mag-plano, mag-ipon, mag-invest, mag-enjoy. God bless!